Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Koch, and welcome to another episode of Uncommon Knowledge. On today's episode, we're going to cover some secrets about me personally and about our office that you've never heard before. And I'm going to let you in on inside scoop stuff that should be very interesting for you. We're also going to go over television, the coronavirus, fear, how to stay healthy. And it's all coming up right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Koch, and welcome to another episode of Uncommon Knowledge. In our office, we do a lot of things to keep people healthy. And in these days, when you hear so much about the coronavirus and the fear that goes along with it, you should have a sense of balance in what you can do to help prevent yourself from getting sick. If you notice, all over television, let me back it up. I told you I was going to tell you some secrets about me. One of the things that not everybody knows is that I didn't own a television until I was 30 years old. That was the first time I bought a television. And why didn't I have a television before that? Well, I was in school. I was studying a lot. I didn't have a lot of time to watch television. I felt like I didn't have a lot of self-control when it came to watching it or not watching it. But one of the primary reasons was because television is basically people who have money who get to manipulate the narrative to get you to think what they want you to think. It's called programming for a reason. And I did not want to fall prey to what everyone who's got money wants me to do. And that really means about the pharmaceutical industry, who, for the most part, pays for most of the ads on our nighttime news. So when it comes to what's true and right um, isn't always what uh, the pharmaceutical companies want you to believe. They want you to believe that the only solution is a medicinal one, and that's not the truth at all. So I didn't own a TV for a long time because I didn't want to live in fear. And right now, if you turn on the TV, you live in fear. It's all you hear is how this coronavirus is wiping people out. And it's not really wiping people out. It is affecting those people who are elderly, those people who are already ill, people who have lung diseases, they're more susceptible to the coronavirus. They're also more susceptible to the flu. They're also more susceptible to a cold. There's a lot of things that they should fear and they should act accordingly. The rest of us, if we do everything right, and I'm gonna go over some of that right now. Everything right, I'm gonna look like a TikTok video. You have to do this thing first. And you know what that is? Diet. You have to diet. If you don't have the proper nutrition in you in order to help your body heal from every day, you're not going to be able to heal with good, proper, strong tissues. Diet is crucial. One of the secrets about me that not everybody knows, I've got another one for you. Ready for this? I don't take vitamins. Uh, not Never. Very, very rarely do I take vitamins. And do I not take vitamins because they're not good for you? Oh no, they are essential for you to be healthy. But for me, here's the secret part. If I take vitamins, there's something in the binder in that vitamin that makes my skin break out. And I look like a pimply teenager. So I haven't taken vitamins since I was a kid because I recognize that happens with me. So do you know where I get my vitamins from? I get them from the freaking food, which is where you should be getting your nutrients from, from the food. If you're not getting it, certainly supplement with a vitamin. But bottom line is go eat colorful vegetables, not too much of anything, Balance in your diet, balance in your life is how you stay healthy. So diet's one. You know what you have to do also? Exercise. Exercise is how you build good, strong, healthy tissues. If you stress the body in a good way, it responds in a good way and uses that good food to make you stronger. Exercise is crucial for you to be healthy. This thing you have to do there, you have to rest. That's when healing takes place. We sleep a third of our day every single day, our entire lives, because it takes a third of our day to recover from yesterday. That's when our body takes that good food and turns it into good, strong, healthy tissues when you're resting. You know what else you have to do? This thing over here, positive attitude. And it's not positive as much as being, don't be negative. You look at the fear that's going on in television these days, it will bring you down. There's so much fear going on. Cortisol is secreted when we are under stress. It's a stress hormone. It breaks us down. It doesn't build us up. So you have to stay positive. And what's the most important thing, especially from my opinion, this thing right over here, that's getting adjusted. That's getting your spine and nervous system to work the proper way. When you are wanting to prevent getting ill from the coronavirus, do these things and you will be well. Kids, little kids, the coronavirus for them is nothing. It's, it's, a, it's a mild cold. The older and sicker you get, the more it affects you because you are compromised. Little kids, they, they, they've got great immune systems. We discount how great our own immune system is. 
So work on these things and you don't have to fear the coronavirus. Here's another secret in our office. We wipe down our tables all the time, all the time. We don't tell you that. We don't want you to feel like you're Jeremy and we have to clean up after you, but our tables or your faces in that address. We wipe them down all the time. We actually have a procedure, which you also don't know about, for me in the back to let the girls know that they should wipe down the table after your adjustment. You don't know it because it's a secret that we do ourselves. It's a little code that we use. We want to keep you well. We want to do everything we can to prevent you from being exposed to any pathogen, whether it's a cold, coronavirus, you name it. But we also want to strengthen your own body so that it can fight it off if you are exposed. That's the key to being healthy. That's what we do here at Koch Chiropractic. I'm Dr. Paul Koch. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Uncommon Knowledge. We'll see you next time.